Damn. I mean, is revenge all you think about? It's screwed up your life, you know. It shouldn't concern you. Well, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I mean, I certainly didn't ask to be holed up in some cabin in Canada with you. Listen, you're not part of my original plan either. That's flattering. A spur of the moment hostage. You are a gift from the gods. You are going to bring me Ryan. All right. You think Ryan has one of these keys you're after, right? That's part of it. Well, what's the other part? Ryan is going to take me to Carl. Why are you after Carl if you think Ryan's the one who has the key? You ask too many questions. Well, is Carl the one you're after or not? All right. I know that you just think I'm bait, but I never did anything to you. I mean, I have a right to know what's going on here. You will know enough as it is. I know that those keys are your connection to Matt Corey and Carl Hutchins. Talk about different ends of the planet. Listen, Carl, I, I know that he can be really charming and everything, but he is ruthless. Yes, he's a man of extremes. Well, yes, I, I'd say so. I mean, ruining my honeymoon and then leaving me in some ice cave, I'd say that's a bit excessive, yes. How do you know him? Well, he was married to my mother once, and of course, he's Ryan's father. And what about Bay City's Latter-day Saint? What about Matt Corey? He's a great guy. Was a great guy. Carl really hated him. I don't know, maybe he hated Carl, too. And maybe Matt Corey isn't as picture-perfect as everybody thinks. Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that he was good to me. I married into that family for a while. Well, you've been busy. All right, not with the wisecracks. I'm just saying that Matt Corey is a sweet guy. Okay? Well, Matt, Matt Corey is the one I have a problem with. Isn't it a little late for that? They ruined a dream. Your dream? My father's dream. They killed my father. Oh, no, 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 just, just wait a minute here. Um, Carl Hutchins, a murderer, maybe. You're calling Mac Corey a murderer? Not Carl Hutchins. Carl's father. You're trying to get revenge against two people who aren't even alive? Are you crazy? Doctor, look at that. I'm fine. Yeah, but I mean, look at your shirt. It's all bloody. Maybe it would get infected. I will handle it, all right? No doctors. Well, I suppose you're a firewalker, too, right? Not as a party trick? No. I'm gonna... I'm gonna fix you something to eat. So, um... What was this dream that got destroyed? That's a long and painful story. Well, lucky for you, I don't have anything to do but sit around and listen. It stays inside me, okay? Ian, do you realize that you could go to jail for this? I mean, you might even be killed. I am honoring my father's death and my father's dream. Well, that's noble. But what about your life and your dreams? I thought you said there wasn't any food here. Well, it's not much. Canned stew is uh, probably not what you're used to. Oh, no, it's okay. It's fine. As long as it's hot. So, um, did you have to lay in all the supplies? It's here. That's all that should concern you. Oh, I, I just meant, um, I just wondered if you had to carry them in. There's no car for you to steal if that's what you're thinking. You're a very suspicious mind. My you know father that? taught me never to trust anybody, and I don't. Were you and your father close? My father was my best friend. He was my teacher. And he was the greatest man I ever knew. Did he teach you how to tie knots? <laughs> my father taught me that every living thing on this planet had some sort of value. Even Carl? So, you must have been pretty young when your father died. I was nine. Awful. It must be terrible to lose a parent that you adore. Well, I mean, at least you got to know them. Some people don't even get that. That's true. Yeah. I mean, I was all grown up before I met my parents. 
I was, really. I was raised on the wrong side of the tracks in this little coal mining town. That's where I met Jake. Somebody else I know tells exactly the same sort of story. Uh, no, no, <laughs> this isn't a story. I mean, this really happened to me. I was taken away from my mother right after I was born. My grandfather did it. He was a real sicko, and he couldn't stand my father. And what about your twin sister? Get a load of this. She was raised as my mother's little sister. And then when I realized that my parents were really wealthy and that Marley was getting all the goodies, I, you know, I wanted my birthright, so I went back to Bay City to settle the score. And did you? Oh, uh, yeah. Sort of. I guess. See, um... I don't know, I learned that money was the least of the things I'd been missing all those years. You know, that the most precious thing my grandfather had taken away from me was my family. That's when I realized, you know, what could have been. All the things I lost and could never have again. I can understand that kind of loss. I'm sure you can. Well... <laughs> I don't usually just blab on like that. Yeah, I understand it goes too deep. Much. Well, what are you looking at? You're not the person I thought you were going to be, all right? Well, should I be pleased or insulted? Look, I'm not going to feed you, okay? <sighs> well, hurry up. Well, just calm down, all right? Thank you. And don't you try leaving. So is this slop gonna kill me? I don't know. I'm eating. I don't know if I can. Okay, wait. Um, I have a favor to ask you. What now? Well, I just couldn't help but notice you have a cellular phone. Can I please call Ryan? Boy, the last time I disappeared, he had nightmares for, for weeks. No! You can dial the number. And, and I won't stay on the phone long enough for anyone to trace the call. Listen, it's far too risky. What's risky? I don't even know where I am. It doesn't matter. All right. If you were honest about why you kidnapped me, I mean, if it really is to get Ryan to come running to Yes, then... I need to see Ryan, all right? All right, fine. Then isn't it in your best interest for him to know that I'm safe and that I'm with you? Hello? Yeah. Hold on. It's for you. <laughs> Harrison. I have someone here who needs to speak to you. Ian. Make it quick. Ryan, is that you? Vic. Vic, where are you? Yeah, me too. Listen, can you tell me anything about your surroundings? Uh, no, no, no. I'm afraid that's not possible. Uh, Vicky, you, you gotta give me some clue as to, as to where you are. Nope. But are you sure you're all right? I'll take that. Wait a minute, I'm not finished you're yet. You're finished. Vicky? Vicky will be fine if you do exactly what I say. I'm listening. Meet me in half an hour at the boathouse at the north end of Lake Elizabeth. I'll be there. You make sure you're alone. Don't bring the police into this. Yeah, I'll be alone. Listen, I've got to make sure that Vicky's all... Vic! Where do you think you're going? I was just going out to get a little air. Do you think I'm stupid? Look, I did what I was told, all right? I didn't warn Ryan. I didn't tell him where I am. That's because you couldn't, not because you didn't want to. Why did you call Ryan and not your husband? Well, because Ryan's here. Grant's in the States. He's too far away to be any help. That wouldn't make sense if you rang for help. But you rang to say you're right. That's so. 
so, that's something you should be ringing to tell your husband. Well, don't worry about it, okay? Ryan will make sure that Grant knows. You know, come to think of it, when Paulina set me up at the docks, I remember you standing right next to Ryan. I, I don't even remember seeing your husband. That's because Grant didn't believe I saw you. No. Looks like you married the wrong brother. I'm in San Francisco visiting my father. You lied to your husband. Well, he just wouldn't understand why I'm here. Maybe he understands too well. well. What is that supposed to mean? Why did you come back here? Because I saw a message on Ryan's computer saying you were in Canada, and it was from Carl. From Carl? How does how does he know about this? I don't know. How does he know anything? He buys people off. He lives under Ian. Ian, don't you know that Carl's not to be trusted? I mean, he went, no, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. You're not gonna tie me up again! Listen, I have to go, all right? I have to go. All right. See Ryan. Wait a minute. Take me with you. I'll help. All right. You can't leave me here like this. I mean, things happen. You don't have a way of controlling. You know? Look what happened with Carl. He thought he could control everything, but he couldn't. Uh, trust me, I'm just saying I know about these kind of things. Wait. Ian. Ian! Promise me you won't hurt Ryan. Hey, don't try and bite me. I will keep you held up and keep you safe. I'd be a lot safer if I came with you. I would explain everything to Ryan. You are I'd not coming. You, you are not coming with me, all right? You're better off for me here. I mean, don't try anything stupid. Wait a minute. I, I just want you to realize you don't have to tie me up every single time you go out. I don't want you running away now, do I? I know, but I realize that. I've learned my lesson. I know now that we're out here in the middle of... Ow, nowhere. Your wrists are red. You been trying to Skype? So, were you able to hook up with Ryan? Let him wait. Why are you doing this? Ask your brother-in-law why he didn't meet me at the boathouse and why he sent the police instead. Ryan wouldn't call the police. If he wasn't there, it must mean that something's wrong. I assure you that Detective Harrison will follow my instructions in the future. Ouch. Don't you get it? The longer we're out here, the better the chance they're going to track you down. Look, I know what I'm doing. Well, I wish you'd fill me in on Just it. Just be quiet! Want to play a game? What? Want to play a game? Five card draw? Where would a girl like you learn how to play poker? Lassiter, PA. The Monte Carlo of the Mid-Atlantic. <laughs> Jake and I used to, uh, hustle all the taverns until we got kicked out. So you in or what? I don't have any money to lose. Well, that's fine. We can play for something more interesting than money. Such as? The truth. I call. Two pair, ace is high. Three queens, I win. Truth time. Let's talk about your father. You know enough about my father already. Well, let's just talk about his dreams and... And his plans, why they were so important Just to you. Just forget about him. All right. What did he do for a living? He was a botanist. Really? Yes. How did he die? He lived in Central America. He... He lived in the rainforests. And you think Matt Corey and Carl Hutchins had something to do with his death? Is that why you went to work for the Coreys? I mean, is that, is that what the keys are all about? Look, I mean, just back no? off, right? All right, okay. We won't talk about your father anymore. Good, good. Let's talk about the Corys. All right, what about them? Well, I just wanted to know what it was like for you living with them. I, I, hey, what do you think of Amanda? She's very special. 
Yeah, I suppose if you're into aging debutantes. She is a great mother, she's a very talented writer, and she has a lot of ambition. She'd be a good match for Senator. <laughs> Are you nuts? Well, uh, she make a hell of a first lady. Well, excuse me, I have dibs on the East Wing. I'm Thank just making an observation well, here, all right? Obviously, you may think you know Amanda, you're but just you certainly getting very don't touchy know about my your husband marriage, very, you very well, and I'm not touchy, very, no. Yes, you are. You're very touchy about your marriage. So what about Paulina? What about her? Well, what do you think about Jake and Paulina getting married? I think it would be the biggest mistake of her life. Why? How many? Three. You really care about Paulina, don't you? All right, wait a minute. This is truth time. Is there something going on between you and Paulina? All I care about is finishing my father's work. I didn't want to have feelings for anything. So you admit you have feelings? I didn't want to complicate her well, life. Well, maybe it was the other right? way around. I called. You know what I'm saying? I mean, maybe she complicated I said, things I called. for you. Three deuces. Full house. Now it's your turn to tell the truth. Okay. What do you say we raise the stakes? Say two out of three this time. You lost. It's your turn to tell the truth. About what? Brian Harris. What do you care? Last night you told me that he didn't trust his father. That's right, he hates his guts. Has it always been that way? Yes, I think he would rather see Carl in Leavenworth. And Carl kidnapped you, took you to the cave just to set you two up. That was the plan. Did it work? Obviously not. I saw you dancing with Ryan at Amanda's party. Well, that was because Grant asked me to dance with Ryan. And did Grant ask you to team up with Ryan to set me up at the docks? No. That was Paulina's idea. All right. Mm, right, yeah, right, right. And what about lying to your husband, telling him you're going to San Francisco and actually you're coming here to meet up with Ryan? I thought Ryan's life was in danger. And what about the phone call? Okay, all right, I know, I know, the phone call. I called Ryan, so sue me. I mean, let's just drop this whole Listen, thing, you're all the, right? You're, you're the one who wanted to play for the truth. I'm famous for stupid ideas. Okay. Let's say both brothers broke through that door to rescue you right now. Which one would you turn to? Grant or Ryan? question I have ever heard. Quit avoiding it and answer it. Well, it's ridiculous. And it's completely hypothetical. No one is coming through that door to rescue me because you've hidden me in the middle of East Nowheresville. Which brother would you turn to? And besides, Grant doesn't even know that I've been kidnapped, all right? He thinks I'm in San Francisco safe and warm with my father and with my little boy. Look, he's only four years old. Listen, will you just stop avoiding it, all right? I told you the truth. Now it's your turn. Well, it's ridiculous. I married Grant, didn't I? Why? Because you couldn't marry his brother? No. I chose to be with Grant last winter. I walked out of that cave, and I walked into Grant's arms, not Ryan's. And you followed Ryan here. <sighs> yeah. Carl didn't have to kidnap to get you two together. You're doing it all by yourself. You don't even know what you're talking about. Why can't you admit it? Look, what I can't do is stay here one more second with you. Let me go! Stop it! Just stop it, all right? Just calm down. Just listen. All right, some species in the rainforest come together naturally. They climb trees, ford rivers, scale mountains just to be together. They live by the rule of nature. Man breaks those rules at his own peril. Why are you doing this to me?